And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, Ross is reading time. And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross is reading time. I just want to let you all know that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am a complete idiot. I'm not really an idiot, but um, I'm Ross Merrick, by the way, Ross. Um, <laughs> I have recorded some of these, and I've had to... Um, I don't know why I'm admitting this to you, but re-record the whole thing because I had on my system preferences, the audio, I had it on, um, because I record other stuff sometimes, and actually I record this sometimes on the microphone, but I'm not, I'm in a a different place, but right now I'm downstairs, this is a different place, I'm in my chair, my my chair here um, at my house, and I love this chair by the way, it's in this corner. And um, it's a little yellow on the screen right now. It looks a little yellow. Um, so I don't know if, I guess it's the lighting reflecting off the walls. It's really white walls. But anyway, when I, my point was I had my system preferences on um, not the sound put input, or it was not on input, but on, um, or it was on input, and I needed it to be on uh, automatic, uh, the sound um, from the computer. Anyway, I'm retarded. Again, this is Ross, <laughs> so we're going to go, because I love you, we're going to record this again. Okay. Anyway, we are reading from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. It's by Dr. Richard Carlson, PhD. <laughs> it's, I, I am going to do that until the end of the chapters. Dr. PhD, because he worked so hard to become a doctor and to be... Um, no, I'm just really stupid. Anyway, we are on chapter 27, and I'm excited because we have 73 more chapters after this one, and or 72, whatever it is. Anyway, um, which will be a long, long time, probably 2015 I will be done with this at the rate we're going. Chapter 27, imagine the people in your life as tiny infants and as 100-year-old adults. Interesting. You guys ready? I learned this technique. Again, it's not me because I didn't write the book. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I do. (laughs) I learned this technique almost 20 years ago. It has proven to be extremely successful for releasing feelings of irritation toward other people. Think of someone who truly irritates you, who makes you feel angry. Now close your eyes and try to imagine this person as a tiny infant. See their tiny little features and their innocent little eyes. <laughs> I love how graphic this is. Know that the babies can't help but make mistakes, and each of us was, at one time, a little infant. Now, roll forward the clock 100 years. See the same person as a very old person who is about to die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, look at their worn-out eyes and their soft smile which suggests a bit of wisdom and the admission of mistakes made. Know that each of us will want, will be 100 years old, alive or dead, before too many decades go by. You can, play with, you can play with this technique and alter it in many ways. It almost always provides the user with some needed perspective and compassion. If our goal is to become more peaceful and loving, we certainly don't want to harbor negativity toward others. That was a that was a quick chapter. Kind of like that one because it. Um, not that you need my explanation, but I just liked it because it allowed um, allows us to imagine, use our creative side, and um, imagine things as not at the, as they are, but sometimes imagining things allows us to see things in, like he said, Dr. Richard Carlson, PhD, perspective. And perspective is a good thing. Sometimes it's hard to have perspective. Um, I know from experience, and we don't need to go there, but uh, (laughs) um, it's just funny to me. (laughs) Um, But uh, it's, it's nice to have sometimes. Anyway, that's it. I thank you guys for watching, and all 12 of you, my 12 faithful 
<laughs> I was going to say servants, but you're not servants, like soldiers. <laughs> anyway, I love you dearly. Um, thank you uh, for your dedication, and may we continue on on this journey of, of not sweating the small stuff and finishing this book. <laughs> anyway, love you dearly. Have uh, Until next time, okay, love you, bye. And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, Ross is reading time. And it's Ross. La, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross, la, Ross is reading time. <laughs>